Hi, I'm Tavleen from buildwoofunnels.com and in this video we're talking about WooCommerce one page checkout. Well now the very fact that you're watching this video tells me that you're bothered about your WooCommerce conversions. You definitely want to increase your sales by optimizing your checkout flow. It also tells me that you want to get a solid bang for your advertising bucks. So watching this video is a great step in that direction. In this video I will not only explain you what WooCommerce one page checkouts are but also we will look at why you need WooCommerce one page checkout. So I will give you demonstrations, show you some really credible examples and finally I will take you behind the scenes and show you how to set up WooCommerce one page checkout. So that is what is lined up for this video. Well stay glued to your chairs because there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Now firstly, let's just understand the need for WooCommerce one page checkout. For that, I would like you to step back and think of how you currently do things. So you basically run your advertising campaign or your email marketing campaign or affiliate campaign or influencer marketing campaign and direct people to your product page, right? And from the product page, a person actually clicks add to cart, goes on the cart page and then he clicks on uh, proceed to checkout and finally goes on the checkout page where he places the order. So there are good three steps involved before he finally gets to the point of giving away his card details. Now you must understand that this process is not really optimized. I'll tell you why. Number one, the product page itself is not optimized. You've got a lot of links there. You've got a navigation menu. You've got the link to the home page. You've got upsell products, cross sell products, so on and so forth. So the focus is actually divided. He's got so many distractions on the product page itself that the problem probability of someone making it to the cart page substantially reduces. And secondly, because there are so many steps involved, um, by the time he gets to the checkout page, there are drop offs at every step. In fact, stats reveal that 69% of people abandon their carts, which means they never make it to the checkout. And even at the checkout gate, there is an abandonment rate of 75%, right? So even at the checkout gate, people actually ghost away. Now, because of these two major issues, which is that your product pages are not optimized for conversions. And secondly, your checkout flow is not optimized for conversion and that there are drop offs at every step, you end up losing a lot of money. So at every step you lose money, you pay a lot of advertising dollars or to your influencers or to your affiliates, but actually never make that money in return. So your ROI substantially is low. And that right there is a problem. Your cost per customer acquisition goes up just because your product pages and your checkout flow is highly unoptimized. Also, before you put the blame on your marketing skills or call your advertising campaigns the culprit or even dismiss your products, please take a step back and think about optimizing your checkout flow. And this is exactly where WooCommerce one page checkout comes in. Now consider deploying it in your store for a substantial increase in conversions. Let's just step back and understand what WooCommerce one page checkout is. What happens is that in this case, you have a dedicated landing page, which is explaining one product in fair amount of detail. So you have got all the product benefits and the advantages and the videos and testimonials, everything on this dedicated landing page, right? And on the side, you've got the checkout form embedded on this page. So people can come, uh, they can explore the product in great detail. And when they are ready to make the decision, all they have to do is stay on that page, fill out their details and make the purchase. So what you're essentially doing with this process is that you're eliminating friction. You're eliminating the number of steps that it takes to make the payment. And since you're doing that, you're going to get faster sales, right? Eliminating friction is the number one way to increase your conversions. Well, it goes without saying that the store that will make the purchase process easy, fast and frictionless will obviously emerge as the winner. Well, and this is the core premise of one page checkout in the online world. This is the soul of the product, right? This is exactly what it is designed to do. It is designed to increase your conversions and boost your bottom line. 
All right, so with that said, now I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how to set up one page checkout in your WooCommerce store. And to be able to do that, I'm going to use Arrow Checkouts by Build Woo Funnels. Well, it is a WooCommerce plugin that allows you to build highly optimized and high converting checkout pages. All right, so now we're logged in into the backend. So this is Woo Funnels and this is Arrow Checkout, right? Uh, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go over to uh, add new. So we're going to add new checkout page. So let's just say uh, order form for Upshow. So Upshow is our one-click upsell plugin, right? It's a uh, it's a one-click upsell uh, WooCommerce plugin. By the way, you should check that out. Uh, so we are going to create an order form for uh, the for Upshow, right? So the page has been created successfully. Now uh, we are into this. Uh, a new screen has been launched, right? Here, what we're going to do is we're going to add new product. So you can pick up the product here. Here we go. So this is uh, one, upstroke one click upsell. Uh, we've got three plans for this. So we're going to add all three of them. It's like variants for a product. Uh, and then we're going to say add new product. So this is the pro plan. Right, uh, the basic plan was added. Uh, the first one that I've added is the basic plan. This is the pro plan. And now I'm going to add the elite plan. All right, so all the three plans have been added. These are three variants of the same product. Also, as you can notice, it gives you three options, which is allow user to select from one of the above products, allow user to select any number of products, sell all of the above products. So depending on your need, for example, here I want allow user to select one of the above products because primarily because, uh, you know, I'm selling one product and all three are its variants. Uh, now, as you can notice, this section also allows you to configure a special discount. Now, you have to understand that this discount is only available on the checkout page, on this specific order page that you're creating they cannot access this discount if they're buying from elsewhere on your site right it is specifically for this order page now this is very useful if you're running retargeting campaigns or cart abandonment campaigns you're redirecting people to this you're offering a special discount or maybe um, you know uh, uh, people who buy from from a uh, from a specific uh, influencer referral and you want to offer them a special discount which is only available on this order form page well then you can configure the discount Discount. So you can offer a fixed discount on regular price. It could be like $10 off, $50 off, whatever. Fixed discount on sale price. So if there's a sale price configured and if you want to further offer a discount, you can select this option. You can also offer it in percentage. So 10% off, 20% off, so on and so forth. Right. Let's now go on to the next section after we save the products. So the data has been saved. Let's go on to form now. Form is where we're going to build the checkout form, right? So these, as you can see, this is this is the field editor. So you can have uh, different fields. Whenever you have to add a new field, you have to actually add. Uh, you have to go on and add section, right? So. Um, Fields are in sections, so section contains fields, right? So whenever you have to add a new field, you're going to go on to section. So you're going to name the section, which could be anything, billing details, uh, uh, shipping details, order summary, and, and then you're going to add section, right? Uh, let's just say shipping details. So that is our uh, section. And in that, you can have new fields. You can drag and drop new fields. All right, so now uh, shipping details, this new uh, section has been added. Now you can add the field uh, by doing just a simple drag and drop. So this has been simply added, right? So this is shipping details as a section, shipping address is the, is the field and you can add more fields here. Uh, so which is what I don't want at the moment. So I'm gonna just cancel it, but that's how it really works. And uh, right. So that's how it really works. So here we are. Now we're in the contact information. You can obviously reorder these fields. Of course, you know that in uh, you know in your default checkout pages in WooCommerce, it's really hard to even simply reorder the fields. But here it's all drag and drop. Very simple to do. So if you want to collect email as the first thing, right? So you need to simply place this here, and uh, you will be able to uh, you know email will become your first field if that's what you want. Then you've got all the billing address here. Uh, billing information shipping method of course like this is a digital product that i'm talking about so i do not really need a shipping method so i can always cross it out but in case you are selling a physical product and you need it then please uh, retain it right so this is where your products will appear 
and this is finally the order summary right uh, if you want to add a new step so let's say you want to make it a two two step uh, checkout form to sort of um, minimize the overwhelm and the friction so you're going to add new uh, step here and then you can add new section so let's say that you know i do not want to collect the shipping information uh, on the first step so i'm just going to sort of cross it out i'm going to go to step step two and here i'm going to add uh, a new section which will be my shipping details section now this section has been added and here i'm going to ask you to give me your uh, shipping address so it's now a two-step form the first step is contact information billing information your product and order summary and step two is your shipping details so that is how it works uh, the payment will uh, the payment uh, section will be a default section it's not something that you can configure it here and the simple reason for that is that uh, you know you should you you do not want to really edit it it's a standard section so it is not available here uh, all the rest of the fields are here you can drag and drop simply reorder them uh, and so on and so forth add new fields uh, remove the fields that you do not want so on and so forth so let's say fields all right yeah so this has been saved let us go into design now so we're now going to design uh, the order form so as you can notice uh, we've got a few layouts here right you can choose any of the layouts you can view the layout and uh, then select it uh, you know if you like it then you select it uh, these are different layouts which are available um, you know all at your disposal select the one that you like the most so these are pre-built checkout pages the simple reason why it has been done like that is because you know you do not have to waste a lot of time in designing things from scratch it's all perfectly laid out for you right over there and it's all there for your convenience all right so that's that but in this case we do not need a pre-built checkout template what we need to do instead is embed checkout form so we're going to go on the embed checkout form option and this is what it is it is an embeddable checkout form so this is the embed form uh, layout that we have and this is the embed form short codes right so we just have to simply grab the short codes from here and embed it right so this is uh, for embedding it on a dedicated landing page this is for a light box so when you want to do to actually embed it on a pop-up right so now let's go on customizing this all right so here we are now we can customize this checkout form right all of these things are customizable including the colors the font size font uh, uh, the text everything right let let me just show you so let us say we want to edit this section yeah so here we are first thing is form width so you can increase the width or decrease the width uh, based on how you like it uh, then this is step one heading so let's say here i'm collecting your details right um I can get rid of this so I'm heading if I don't need it this is a uh, step two sorry so this is step one so that's that and this is step two and I want to say shipping details because we created shipping details as the next step right so that is what it is this is step one this is step two I'm going to decrease the width a bit so uh, to be able to embed it and um, this is the font size you can increase it if you want to right now let's just go on this i want to actually change the color of this section so here we are uh, i can change the color to whatever i like let's say black maybe yeah so you can actually customize this completely if you want to change the color of this you can always do that uh, you know you can change it to let's say uh, you know a darker shade of gray or something or maybe a lighter gray whatever you like right so you can make it on brand and you can also change the color of the inactive step which is uh, this is the background color of the inactive st uh, 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 step and this is these are the text colors this is the count background which is this one right this is the count text color which is this one right so on and so forth and uh, again you can change the button background color so let's say you know you want to change it to something else uh, you want to change it to uh, maybe red right so this has become red in color and uh, you also can change the hover color so this is the hover color let's say you want to change it to a lighter shade of red so that's that you can do it 
so when you hover over it that's how it will look right so again uh, just to create something which is completely on brand uh, everything is customizable this is the highlight color this is to sell this is to show which of these products has been selected right because while i was editing it i had uh, strictly said that you know i want my users to select one of these three uh one of these three products which is why if there's a radio button and you know all three products are available only one is actually selectable uh further you can go on to next step so this is the shipping details because we specifically we categorically said that we wanted to collect shipping details in step two so which is why all the shipping details are here right and this is the payment information uh, this is again a default section which comes which is not customizable which is not which is not editable basically from the fields section it's a default section that's going to come up uh, this is all the details and one can then just sort of place order so that is how it is all right now this form has been customized now i'm going to go and grab this short code and then we will embed it in uh, the on the landing page so i'm using elementor to design my landing page so here we are this is elementor i'm going to i'm, I'm going to create a short code here i'm going to just put a short code here and uh, that's that so this is my short code and here is my short code that i have to embed it's the for the checkout form right. so now i have embedded the short code here let's just apply it okay so this has been embedded over here so checkout form has been embedded here here we are this is the checkout form on the left hand side you can explain the product add testimonials videos and all of that and on the right hand side you've got a simple checkout form which has been embedded here so this is the exact checkout form that we just created similarly if you want to embed the checkout form on pop-up on a pop-up then this is the uh, short code that you need to select which is with light box yes right and uh, then you're going to go into this so here we've embedded we've, we've we've actually called a button here in the in in the elementor right and here this is uh, the the placeholder for a short code and here we've embedded the short code with the light box yes right in addition to that what you also have to do is lift this uh, class from here just copy this and go ahead and paste this here so when you click on this button here and go to advance well you will see the css classes so you just have to simply place this here and that's about it so the moment somebody will click on checkout uh, then um, the pop-up will emerge with the checkout form let me show you quickly how it will be on the front end all right so here we are this is the front end now let's just click on this and a pop-up emerges yes so this is it this is a two-step form right and this is the checkout which is now embedded on the pop-up which only appears when you click on this button here well, so that's it for this video. This was all you need to know about WooCommerce one page checkout. I showed you how to create a WooCommerce one page checkout using arrow checkouts. And we also looked at how to embed it on a dedicated landing page as well as a pop up. So if you're running any sort of campaign, be it advertising campaign, email marketing, or your, in, or your influencer marketing campaign, so on and so forth, well, then I have no reason to believe why you should not set up dedicated landing pages with one page checkout. They make the whole process of checking out so effective and so frictionless and fast that you will definitely skyrocket your conversions. If you have any questions regarding WooCommerce one page checkout, do drop them in the comment box below and I will be happy to answer them for you. In the meanwhile, do hit the link that I've added in the description box to explore more about Arrow checkouts. And of course, if you have any questions, do let me know and I will be here to answer them for you. If you like this content, do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching me. This is me, Tavleen, signing out.